guys, Aston Villa have just beaten Leeds by two goals to one. And yeah, really interesting game. I felt as though Leeds will feel very unfortunate that they didn't get at least a point out of this game. They conceded very early on. Uh, Due to a goal from Leon Baby, it was it was a well well taken counter attack goal by Villa uh, from the corner. Uh, Mark Rocker, yeah, I, th I think the 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 fact that he didn't actually attack the ball was a bit of a problem. But the speed at which Villa got the ball up the pitch for both their goals actually, uh, starting with both both of them starting with an Ashley Young uh, in interception and yeah, he had a brilliant game Ashley Young. In fact, the uh, sort of battle that went on throughout the entire game between Ashley Young and Nonto was superb. Um, and the, the first goal by Bailey, brilliantly taken. You, you knew what he wanted to do, but no one could stop him. I felt as though Strag could have uh, maybe got a little bit closer to him, but uh, there, there wasn't much else he could really do because it, it, Melia definitely couldn't do anything to save that shot. And then for the remainder of the first half, Villa didn't actually have that many chances. There was a big pause for uh, the Dinya the injury and Watkins injury as well. Um, and that, that saw Alex Moreno come on for his uh, debut for Aston Villa. And he had an amazing game in, in defence for Villa, uh, at both ends of the pitch in fact actually, uh, making a really important goal line clearance. And to how Leeds didn't score in, in the first half is beyond me. And they, they had so many chances. Rodrigo could have scored uh, on, on more than one occasion, in, in, in fact. Um, Harrison ha had an opportunity to score as well. And yet, yeah, the, 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 they were creating lots of opportunities, but they, they just couldn't put the ball in the net to save their lives, um, especially in that first half. And they still occasionally looked a bit open at the back, which is, is Leeds' main problem, really. Their, their defence still isn't at, at the level it requires, really. It'll be interesting to see what happens when they do uh, eventually stick Reverber in, in the starting eleven, because I, I think, based on how he's done in the two games where he's come off the bench, he deserves a chance in the first team because Leeds just haven't been good enough defensively this season and that's been the case for the past two or three years now, so ever since they got promoted really. They've been great going forward, although the goals that they're struggling for a little bit at the moment, but defensively that's still not good enough um, really. And yeah, uh, the second Villa goal after half-time again came after uh, Leeds were pressing for an equaliser Wilfred Nyonso, he got highlighted by the commentators and he, I think he deserves every bit of praise he gets because um, for me he was probably Leeds' his best player in this game and uh, constantly caused problems. It, it was just very unlucky that he came up against uh, such an experienced opponent like Ashley Young who um, de dealt with him really well for a player who has, uh, you know, been been through it a, a, a few times, um, like with, with how old he is now and how much his legs must have been, you know, knackered by the end of that game, essentially. Um, and yeah, they did really well. It, it, it was a great battle to watch. And yeah, both players were, were, were superb. But um, yeah, Leeds, as I say, open at the back and they, they got hit on the counter attack again. In fact, the chance did actually come from uh, Ashley Young making an amazing tackle to deny Tyler Adams from pro probably scoring if, if Ashley Young doesn't reach the ball first. Um, and yeah, went up the other end and a similar thing happens. Leon Bailey picks up the ball, cuts inside. This time his shot's saved by Melier, but uh, falls to Buendia who did just enough. And it was actually given offside initially, uh, but uh, Buendia, you know, was convinced that it was onside and he, he was proven correct in the end by VAR. So VAR has had a you know, positive result in this game because they gave the correct decision, whereas it might not have been uh, given otherwise. Um, but, but yeah, it, 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 Villa, you, you felt as though we're, we're lucky uh, to be in, in the 2 0 lead. And they, they, did every, they, they, they did a lot of defending even after. They went 2-0 up. Um, Tyrone Mings made a huge error. It's nearly straight after. And um, 
that that failed to, was failed to be punished by Leeds once again. So many chances this game had to score at least one of them, but just just couldn't in, in the end uh, and, until it, it it was nearly too late. Um, they, they they still had a couple of chances even beyond them, but as well as that, um, as well as the defensive heroics of players like uh, Alex Moreno and Ashley Young. I also thought Emiliano Martinez was superb in, in goal, made so many saves, especially first half. And but there was absolutely nothing he, he could do to stop the equaliser from Patrick Bamford after he came off the bench. And once again, brilliant set up by Nonto, um, cuts inside and, and gets past Ashley Young this time. And uh, the, yeah, does really. No, no, no that, that wasn't what happened. No, he. Uh, Sorry, he, he cut inside Morgan Sampson, sorry, off the bench and uh, squared it to Bamford and Bamford couldn't miss from that point of view. But there was just so many times that Nonto was, was getting down the left-hand side and, and beating his man. It was unreal. He, he had a great game. Uh, it was really unfortunate to be uh, on, on the lose, losing side today, um, unfortunately for him. But yeah, br brilliant game to watch. It is is. Well, I will say to it, although I thought uh, towards the end, Ilan Melier was probably slightly fortunate to be uh, still on the pitch at full time with uh, the, you know, taking down of, I think it was Coutinho, not too far away from like the halfway line, about 40 yards out from goal. Because if that ball does get past him, that that's almost a certain goal, really, isn't it? If you've got any sort of competent footballer on the pitch picking up the ball in that position, uh, so yeah, very fortunate I thought in the end. But yeah, Villa in the end did just enough. Um, I think if you play, replay this game ten times and it went the way it went, but you you know change the outcome of the chances, I think Leeds probably win at least eight of them. Uh, it was just one of them days for Leeds, and they, they do need to, you know, start scoring some goals again because uh, right now they're, they're still not safe from relegation. That they, that's, you know, sort of uh, clinging on to sort of a mid-table spot, but they're, they're still definitely not safe this season. Uh, but yeah, we'll get into player rating, staff with Aston Villa, and we'll start with my man of the match, actually. I've given it to Emiliano Martinez. Um, I've given him an 8 out of 10 because he, he made just a ton of saves in, in the first half. And, and there were a few players that I could give man of the match to, to be honest, but I've gone with Martinez because um, he, he was brilliant and, and just looked so calm whenever he came up against a challenge in this game. And then uh, in defence, I've given Ashley Young and Alex Moreno both sevens uh, because they, they were both integral in Aston Villa winning this game. Both uh, made some huge defensive contributions and Alex Moreno was actually lucky on a couple of occasions not to have scored his uh, first Villa goal. He did have a couple of chances and showed that he has the athleticism to get forward and help in, in attack as well is defend well, uh, even in a game where they were under such pressure. So that that's a really good sign for Villa, and uh, it, it, the way, especially the way that Uno Emery plays. Uh, because if they hadn't signed him, I think they'd been in a bit of trouble with uh, Luke Stinia's injury that he picked up after 10 minutes. Uh, Concer and Mings at centre-back. I've given Concer a 6. I thought he had an all-round solid game, but Mings have given a 5 because I thought uh, there were a couple of moments where he, he had the... Uh, bit of a nightmare where he, especially the one in the second half where he lost the ball at the halfway line and it had, had to have Concer and Young sort of bail him out of trouble um, and so yeah I've given him a five and then in, into uh, midfield I've given Leon Bailey a seven you know got plays a huge role in both goals the first one he scored brilliant uh, and the second one uh, caused, you know, Melier to sort of, I wouldn't say fumble, but parry the shot, definitely. It, it wasn't really uh, Melier's fault at all. There was nothing he could really do about it. But yeah, it felt to Buendia who scored. Uh, Buendia, uh, I've, I've given a seven because, again, took his goal well and uh, caused problems for Leeds on, on the counter-attack as well as Bailey. Those two linked up well in this game. 
And then midfield, I've, I've given it central midfield. I've given Douglas Luiz a seven. I thought he was brilliant in in centre tonight. Uh, and Kamara and Ramsey have given sixes because uh, they, they they perform well, but I, I didn't think they particularly stood out in the way that Douglas Luiz did. And then finally uh, up front, I've given um, Ollie Watkins a six because he you know he was, he was only on the pitch for half an hour, didn't have much impact on the game. Was unfortunate to have that uh, sort of. I think it was an ankle injury he picked up. And Danny Ings have also given a six as well. Um, it, it, he came on the pitch, you know, pre pressures the Leeds defence when, when he could, but it wasn't overly involved in this game. And then on to Leeds, Ilan Melia have given a six. I don't think he was at, at fault for either goal, really. Uh, I think if you're saying he should do better for the second goal, I think he might be a bit being a bit harsh there. Did make a couple of good saves. Uh, and then Ailing and Cock have given uh, sixes. I thought the right side of Leeds' defence tonight performed quite well. There weren't any real problems being caused by Villa down that side. I, th I think Ailing and Cock protected it quite well. Whereas on the left, Cooper and Strauch, I, th I thought um, Cooper's a defender I quite like. I think he's usually quite good, but uh, in tonight's game, I, I felt as though he, he was caused a lot of problems, and I think he could have been maybe a little bit quicker to pick up his man for the second goal. Uh, and Strike, I just don't think he's a left-back at all, um, to, be, to be completely honest. And I'm not even sure if he, he's really good enough for this level. Uh, and then midfield, Rocker, I've given a six. Again, put, put work in, played play all right. Uh, Tyler Adams, I've given a seven. I thought he, he was one of Leeds' better players. Um, you know, just you, you know what to, what you're gonna get from Tyler Adams. Really, he's he's gonna try and break everything up in midfield and start attacks for Leeds, and he, he did that on quite a few occasions tonight for them. Uh, unlucky not to get his goal scoring opportunity just before Aston Villa scored their second. Actually, uh, he was stopped by a great piece of defending by Ashley Young, uh, Jack Harrison, and Brendan Aronson. Uh, I've I've given fives because uh, they didn't do horrendously but they they failed to take the chances and they were big chances that they did get in the first hour or so of the game uh, and then I've given Wilfried Nonto a seven a uh, really great performance uh, unlucky not to get man of the match the only reason I, I haven't given him man of the match is because I, I never like giving man of the match to a player on the losing team because to me man of the match is about who won the game for their team or, or who, who got the result for their team anyway. Uh, but he, he, he was still a brilliant performer and uh, you know did really well to set up Leeds' in the end consolation goal that caused pro constant problems all night. And Rodrigo I've given a six because again he caused constant problems for Leeds but I felt as though he needed to score one of his two big opportunities in this game. So yeah, I, th I think I have to mark him down a little bit for that. But yeah, he still had a reasonably good game. But yeah, Aston Villa did enough for the win in the end and Leeds, it's, it's another away defeat this season. Uh, I think they've only won one game away from home this season and that was at Anfield. So they definitely need to pick up more points away from home. I think they've only got five because they drew against Southampton and Newcastle. So uh, yeah, that definitely needs improving. You can't just rely on your home form in this league. But anyway, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time.